Hi everyone, my name is Anna Cholaku and I work as a developer advocate at Amadeus for Developers. Amadeus for Developers is the open API program of Amadeus which provides travel data and travel services to developers across the world. In this video, I would like to show you how to get started with Amadeus Java SDK in order to call the Amadeus APIs. In the Amadeus for Developers GitHub organization, you can find the Amadeus SDKs as well as code examples and developer guides. For today, we're going to install the Amadeus Java SDK. In this repository, you can find the source code of the project and also in the readme page, you can find all the necessary information that you need in order to install the SDK, to get started with it and learn how to use it. In your Java project, the first thing to do is to add in your dependencies the Amadeus Java SDK. By adding it in your build Gradle file, you can install and run the Amadeus SDK. At this point, we can create our application and make our first API call. In this scenario, we're going to search for flights using the Amadeus Flight Offer Search API. At the beginning of our project, we import a few objects. These objects are necessary in order to be able to get access to the Amadeus APIs and also to call the Flight Offer Search API. After importing the necessary objects, what we have to do is to get authorized by using the API key and the API secret. If you don't have the Amadeus API key and the API secret, I encourage you to go to developers.amadeus.com, create an account and get your credentials. For security reasons, when I defined the variables, I don't hard code them, but as you can see here, I use the system.getEnv method in order to take them directly from the environment variables that I have already set them up. After this point, I create an Amadeus client and I pass my API key and my API secret. And now I can make my first API call. In this case, as we already said, we call the Amadeus Flight Offer Search API. The method to call it is this one, the amadeus.shopping.flightoffersearch.get is a get method. And for each API, you can go to our GitHub page on the SDK readme and see all the available endpoints and how you can call them. And I'm giving some input parameters. For example, the origin location code is Madrid, destination location code is Athens. I specify here the IATA code of the airports, then departure date um, 1st of November 2022 for one traveler and I want to retrieve only one flight. In the API reference of uh, each API, you can see all the available parameters, the required and the non-required, and also how the response looks like, the model of the API, as well as the error codes. If my API call is not successful, what I do here is I check first of all the status. So if the status is different than 200, which means the API call is not successful, I print the status code that has been returned by the API and then I exit. But in the case that my API call is successful and I have retrieved a flight, here I print the flight coming from the API. So let's see with an example here. I run the API call and here, as you can see, we have returned one flight with all the relevant information of the flight that the API returns. Thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us in our developer community on Discord or send an email at developers at amadeus.com.